Why, why are you there? We're here. This is where we are. This is where the story of the Jewish people is being written right now. I was born in New York. I grew up though in uh, Montreal, Canada. I decided to make Aliyah when I was 17. My father is an American. He was born in New York in Far Rockaway. I wanted to live in a place where Jews took control of their own destiny. And I felt that was my destiny. I know it sounds a bit kitschy, but it really is what I thought then, it's what I think today. At a certain point, there's a dissonance between the love of Israel, but, but yet you're not taking part in that dream. And I think when the dissonance becomes too great, then that's when you make the decision, yalla. Uh, My husband was really the uh, brainchild behind making Aliyah and he had worked on me for many, many years and finally I said, okay, listen, if you want to make Aliyah, I need two things. I need, you, you have to guarantee me two things. One, we get to eat kidney oat on Pesach, okay? You have to give that up. Like, I want rice and we live in Kfar Dumim. Those were the two things that I, I said were just non-negotiable. fell in love with the people, the view, the, uh, the atmosphere, the values, uh, old school Zionism. Kfar Dumim is really one of the most unique communities in Israel. It was set up more than 40 years ago intentionally as a mixed community, which in Israeli terms, for better or for worse, means religious and secular uh, uh, families living together. Uh, and the idea is that if we're building, we're not building an Orthodox state, we're not building a secular state, we're building a Jewish state. No one is going to ask you, why didn't you come yesterday to shul? No one is going to ask you, why do you wear this kind of hat or that kind of hat? It's a whole combination of Jews who have a whole variety of opinions and interpretations of their own Judaism. And I think that's in the end the beauty of Israel, and certainly of Kfar because Kfar Dumim was founded as a community yeshuv to bring people together, so uh, community life is very important here in Kfar Dumim. There's a lot of emphasis, a lot of resources go into it. It's not a small yeshuv anymore where everyone knows everyone, uh, but there, people are very outgoing, very friendly. We made lots of friends very quickly. There's all sorts of different uh, uh, subgroups. Uh, I'm part of a social club called the Chalent Club. Uh, where we uh, go every Thursday night to Jerusalem and uh, try out different uh, challenges. There's so many people in this area who, even though they themselves didn't make Aliyah, they're the children of Olim. And because of that, we have been so warmly welcomed into the community. I think the people in this area understand, either because of their own experience um, or just because they are incredible and beautiful and welcoming Israelis, they're willing to go above and beyond in, in every possible way. I like the quiet. I like going into Jerusalem in the morning and then coming back home and it's very, very quiet. There's not a lot of traffic and there's not a lot of noise. Almost everybody engages with Jerusalem, travels to Jerusalem for work, for all kinds of services. And uh, we are in the Jerusalem area, but we're an independent unit in the desert. It's the segment of, of the Israeli population that's both very Zionist, very idealistic, and also uh, with two feet on the ground, um, successful, uh, people built nice homes. Coming to Israel is a life's challenge and a life's success. And it's something which one does not for the comforts of life, even though there are comforts here. And just like any country in the world, it has its ups, it has its down, but it's ours. The price to pay is so small for what you get. So I welcome everybody to come here, but come from your heart. To give your child that kind of childhood, 
how could you, why would you miss out on that? It's here, it exists, it's right here.